first one of this rivalry. In Ross overtime heroics was the difference the last time they went head to head. Kempe's last meeting against him saw him deliver a number of hits and takeaways. If you thought Southern California gridlock was intense, wait till you see the Kings and Ducks next. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Kings kick things off by winning the opening faceoff, and here we go. The Ducks are in transition. Sends it in deep. The Kings gain possession. Oh, huge hit against the wall. Home center. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically. Pay the price. Use your body and get the puck. Here's a chance. And that's off target as it hits a body. Great use of the stick at center by Doughty. LA's got the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Kopitar. The Ducks get a hold of it. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Anaheim's looking to break out of their own end. Looks to get the puck over to Boldy. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Shot! Turned aside with the blocker by Riddick. Silverberg's feeling that, and someone's going to the box. Let's see the call here. The Kings will serve two for slashing. Coaches spend so much time working on them in practice. He comes into the dot. He wins it. Now, all of a sudden, his teammates have possession. They know their responsibilities. They know what they got to do off the draw. And they wind up with a goal. Well, every team spends so much time on their power play, the sequences, the options. And they deliver on this set with a goal. And the coach is absolutely thrilled behind the bench as they approach. The feedback is there. It's all positive. Well, an assist is equal to a point, and the point streak continues on his part. Well, and it's going to continue because he reads exactly what he's given here, James. And you know you have confidence and patience with the puck when you'll fire it when the lane's open, but you'll also move it when your player is open. Oh, and he freaks us out with the club save! Wow! Lots of time left in this period. Anaheim's ahead, 1-0. Los Angeles has won the defensive zone draw. Here they come up along the wing. Quick shot! Too much traffic in the lane. And he keeps possession. Tries to get the puck to Kavrikov. Riddick's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The Ducks lead it 1-0. Anaheim's got it, and they're on the attack. Scores! And make it double digits for the rookie here on the season. Well, that's going to feel good, James. No question about it. Anytime you can get a marker, let alone 10, you feel like you've contributed, and there's more room to go. Two goals in right around a minute 40. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. playing an opponent that you're a rival with, you know that there's just this intrinsic motivation to try and win the game beyond the points that are on the line. And the coach knows that he doesn't want to lose to the opponent. He wants to find a way to win, make the adjustments, and be the better coach. Anaheim's been very impressive to watch in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in the first. Moves it to Brink. And that goes off a player. Let's see what the officials are calling. 
Sometimes you have a conversation with the official just to give them the heads up that you're not happy. So setting the tone, setting an undercurrent because they've been more penalized. But with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. And he takes the dish. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Riddick. Deneau's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Ducks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Just slide to the net. The Kings will kill off a few extra seconds down. Takes a shot. Well saved made by Riddick. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. LA's won the draw. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. They get it out of the defensive end. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Michael. Oh, it's stayed out! It's stayed out! What a save! Well, that's all Will, and this is going to elevate his team. No question about it, James. I mean, it was all but in, and then he comes from nowhere to make that save. And great hustle to come up with the puck. Tippett's got it in the defensive end. The Kings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. That's gonna be a slashing call. Anytime you come over the top or you hit the equipment and the ref is there, you're gonna get a two minute penalty. Puck set to drop. We've got some four on four coming up. On a four-on-four, four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. Nearing the midway mark of the period, Anaheim's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. <laughs> Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Just slide. Sends one up to Lewis. Fires it into the offensive zone. Los Angeles goes to work on the power play with their man stepping out of the box. Along the half wall with the puck. Rocks him on the play. Avoids the poke kick. Swing it to the middle. He scores! of this power play. It's all about puck movement, and when you're going to let a shot go, you want to make sure that there's traffic net front, and that's exactly what happens. The goaltender screen, and they find the back of the net. Los Angeles has made it a one-goal game after a strike here in period number one. Well, after a tough start, they started to settle in, James, and you can certainly see it with their push, and of course, that counter getting themselves within one goal. Puck scooped up by Silverberg. The Kings gain possession in their own end. Los Angeles brings the puck in from center, and the puck skips away after that move. Pepe trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Slides it across. going back and forth, doesn't it, James? I'm not sure if the goaltenders like this very much. It's a highly entertaining game, but where's the defense? As long as we have a voice, I'm all for it. Well, I love the assist on this play here, James. I mean, I thought he was going to shoot. I think everyone thought he was going to shoot because he is driving the net. He is shielding it with his body, with his arms and shoulders, and he finds a way to make this pass. Incredible play. 
you got to love those teammates that just continually perform in those big games, Cheryl. Well, yeah, I mean, the pressure is on. They deliver. I mean, just look at the stat sheet. He is a point-per-game player against this rival opponent, James, and you know that there's a level of urgency to his game. He brings everyone around him, and they rally towards the fight. From the left side, moves it up ahead. Sends a pass over. Keeps it out. Got a piece of it with the trapper. Dishes it off. Gets a hold of the puck behind the net. Right up the gut, here they go. Make a change, make a change. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Jones tried to do too much here and it can be frustrating for the players he's playing with going one-on-one -on -one and you lose the puck, it's a tough one. Taken by Edmondson and he slides it quickly to Spence. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Fires it on net. And that shot gets caught in traffic. The Kings played along the boards. Wrist shot from the slot. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. Moves it quickly over to Jones. Quick pass to Spence. You can't make the save if you don't know where the puck is going to be, James. Well, he has a perfect read on this play. Reads that pass right across the crease and makes the save. The Ducks continue to lead midway through the first. They have really put on an offensive clinic so far. Lewis wins the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. He grabs the puck here at the point. Denies him! Slides the puck over. Niskanen's got it across the line. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Puck picked up by Fogel. Feeds it over to Spence. And now he moves it quickly to Lewis. Takes the feed at the point. Gains control of the puck here on the line. Great save! There's the whistle as the goal hangs on. More than half the period has expired. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3-1 is where we sit. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Silverberg. Presence known on the ice. Feeds it over. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Anaheim's got control of the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Boldy. The Kings look to start the transition game. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Lays the body into that play. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. been playing in one direction all night and that's towards the net and they lead here late in the first Rossi's quick stick lands from the puck here at center quick pass to Byfield broken up in the neutral zone by Kopitar stopped by the goaltender goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here here in the late goings of the period 3-1 Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Back to the point it goes. Grabs it with the glove. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Face off looming as both centers get into position. The Kings win the draw. Oh, what a fire collision there. He just got railroaded. Favor's been nabbed for tripping. But sometimes a simple set on a power play is the most effective. James, we saw it earlier. When you've got shooters, players that can just rip up on from the point, you want to make sure you got them set up and teed up along the blue line, but it doesn't work unless you get net front presence. You gotta get eyes in front of the tender. Here's a short pass to Janot. And nearing the final 
50 seconds of this opening stanza. And he slides it quickly to Dowdy. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Picked up along the wall by Rossi. Now a quick pass to Power. LA's got a hold of it along the wall. And rings the iron! Los Angeles is getting frustrated, James. They hit the post so many times, they're gonna have to repaint the frame. Tries to get the puck over to Dowdy. Dishes it to the Ferriere. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Richards is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. And they win that neutral zone draw. Dumps it into the O-zone. Los Angeles has it near the wall. Great pressure forcing the turnover. Los Angeles looks to move the puck from their own end. And loses possession after a solid hit. LA's got the puck against the half wall. Chase in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. And you can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. LA's won the opening draw and their power play rolls on. Moves it to Kempe. And it's a quick pass to Moore. Loses the coverage there. Los Angeles plays it along the wing. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Los Angeles has possession of it now. Here's a chance. Crisp's gonna hang on for the whistle here. It's been a ho-hum night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Richard slides into the face-off dot, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Gets the puck in deep. Takes a bump, but hangs on. That knocks him off the puck. Faber's penalty is almost expired. And that's a great heads-up play by Darlene. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Drives to the sweet spot. Oh! Scores! And it gets right back to him, and he puts it home. I just love these types of goal, James. I mean, you can see the energy on the bench, the coach, everyone is uplifted because these are dirty areas. These are tough areas. These are competitive, will-type goals. And he finds the back of the net because he was willing to pay the price. Anaheim's had that magic touch tonight, Cheryl. Sometimes when you get up in the game, James, it's easy to get complacent and just hold the puck, stop attacking. But not tonight. They're not. The entire bench, the lineup, such an offensive threat. Line one right through line four. They've been a wave tonight. Richards grabs the puck inside his own territory. And he slides it quickly to Boldy. Sends it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Sends the pass across the ice. Silverberg's having himself a game, James, and he's already got a goal. Puck's on his stick and really looking to do some more damage. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Kaliev. Moves the puck along the half wall. And it takes off a stick in traffic. And that pass goes off a stick. Sends it over to Richards. The Ducks play it along the wing. That lies up in front. And now it's grabbed by Silverberg. And he slides it quickly to Faber. Too much congestion in front. Los Angeles moves ahead with the puck. Quick feed to Enroth. There's the whistle, we've got an offside. The Ducks have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. Good heads up play to sneak in there on the tie up and come up with the puck. LA's got control of it now from their own end. Oh, and a board rattling hit right there. Off his game, 
in tonight, really looking uncomfortable between the pipes. And he needs to settle in and find a way to create some momentum for his team. But on the other side of the two on one, across the line, a chance for a fantastic save and rushes the rush. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Los Angeles gets the puck near the boards. And somehow he hangs on. Riddick's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. He rules for the game of hockey. One of them is you have to be aware of your surroundings and have your head on a swivel. He isn't, and he takes a huge hit. Johns has left the bench and is heading towards the tunnel. James needs some assistance as well as he clearly looks shaken up after that hit to the head. Yeah, he looked woozy right there moments ago, and he'll now have to go through the health and safety protocols that are now in place. LA's gonna start with the puck in their own end. Smart defensive play there. Now he slides it up to Moore. Turns the puck over, great read defensively there. Shuts him down. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Moves it quickly over to Edmondson. Here's a chance. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Los Angeles has possession of the puck in the offensive end. And he serves it across to Brink. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Puts it on net. Oh, you might call that friendly. Scores! And that's three unanswered goals. And as my mom likes to say, they're cooking with gas. <laughs> they're cooking with gas. And you can expect that they have put their opponents on their heels. This is a team that knows that they've worn their opponent down. Now they've got to keep the pedal to the metal. The coach is not impressed with his group right now. I mean, he's looking at each and every member of his team saying, how can you not get up for this game? You lost to your rival opponent last game. Now they're handing it to you. Find a way to garner some of that pride and come back. Anaheim's had yet another to extend this lead, and they are just flying tonight here in period number two. And they've completely worn their opponent down, so they have no energy to get to the puck or try and create. And this is a testament to their whole lineup. They came ready to play. Great reach with the hook kick. And now he moves it quickly to tip it. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Broken up at center. On the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. In close! Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Bufflin's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Michaels gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Shakes off the coverage. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And he hangs on to the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Pinned up along the boards. And the puck's knocked loose. Oh, and a nice play to free up the puck there. Sent into the offensive zone. The Kings scoop it up along the boards. Moves it over to Kelly. Here we go, pucks in deep. Now a quick pass to Champion. Puck grabbed by Fogel. Quick pass to Edmondson. The Kings move to the offensive zone. Jumps it in. Slides the puck to Faber. And it's a quick pass to Silverberg. Picked off by Fogel. Takes the feed. The Kings will play it from the defensive zone. Crisp's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. 
Suns is out for the remainder of the game with that injury he suffered earlier. James, we just received confirmation that it is true. The injury he sustained will keep him out, and this is a real tough one. I mean, what does the team do now, and how frustrated he must be with this injury? And a real test of perseverance here for the bench here to get this game down to the stretch. LA's got the puck along the wall. Fires it. No room for that one to get through. Boldies crossed the line and came the zone. Fires it! And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. Anaheim's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. The Ducks have been rewarded for all their scoring chances tonight as they carry the lead late in this second period. Canoes won the draw inside his own end. Takes a hit on the play. The Ducks ready to go on the attack. Puck moved over to Deneau. Moves it around along the half wall. to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. Saucer feed. Big save, just as time runs out. There's the horn, two periods down, a third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drop next. just moments away from the start of the third period. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Anaheim's been consistent through 40 minutes of play here, James, and they have a comfortable lead. Now it's about bringing it home, and in order to do that, you got to make sure that you're defensively responsible. The Ducks have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. Anaheim's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, what a save in front! From one point man to another. Can't keep a hold of it. Puck is... Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Across the line along the left wall. Anaheim's gonna play it from the corner. Handles the pass. Denied by Kipper. Oh, and that doesn't go well. The Kings run it in. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. There's a big time hit in the corner on him there. Slides it across. Big stand up hit on the play. so quick, he's athletic, and he makes a huge save from the slot. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Ducks pick up steam and are on the attack. Puck scooped up by Fiala. Pushes it across to Spence. Here we go, on man rush. To his teammate. Scrum ensues along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Fogel. 
Great positioning in the defensive end. Dumps it in. LA's got the puck along the boards. Passes it over to Lewis. The Ducks take possession in the neutral zone. Feeds the puck across to Spence. Big hit, and that frees up possession. With the steal. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Lewis. Great read by Nash. Wins on that. Makes the save. Taken by Edmondson. Passes it over. Los Angeles plays the puck along the boards. Offside the call will get a reset. Anaheim's shown no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. Richards has won the draw here in the neutral zone. With possession along the wall. Angles it over to Richards. Fingles on the hook kick and it pays off. LA's got a hold of it against the wall. Into the offensive end now. There's a shot. Scores! And a huge goal to pick themselves up on the canvas. Well, the coaches say to me, you gotta stop the bleeding. And that's exactly what they've done. But now they got to find a way to do something with it. I mean, they have been manhandled this game. That's a beautiful finish, but I'm telling you, he's got to go over to his teammate and say thank you very much for that beautiful pass. I mean, it was placed perfectly on his stick. He didn't have much time to react, but he could collect it, and he found a way to put it home. The Kings don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give him a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. Richards wins it. Here's a short pass to Power. He takes a shot, and that doesn't reach the net. Shakes off the defender with some nifty moves. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Handles the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Ducks have it now. Through center. Los Angeles takes possession along the wall. Fires it into the offensive zone. Lights him up into the boards. And he loses control of the puck. Lowers the boom with that hit. LA's got the puck. Moves it to Byfield. And now he moves it quickly to Anderson. Great reach with the poke check by Byfield. Dished on over to Kopitar. Shot! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Denies him again! That's an incredible sequence of saves. He is so dialed in, but I gotta say, where are the D boxing out? Takes it along the wall by Anderson. Los Angeles looks to break out in their own end. Dowdy's got it in the offensive zone. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Paper is looking pretty banged up out there, James. Looks like he's fighting, pushing through something. He's struggling to get to the end of the shift. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Here's a pass down low. Takes the feed. And that goes off the post and out. Pass save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. He's in a lot of pain here, James, as he's trying to make his way back to the bench. He was injured somewhere in the shift, showing his passion to try and stay committed to the play, but he's got to get off. The Ducks are in the home stretch of this one, leading big time in the third. Los Angeles wins the draw here in the offensive zone. The Kings get a hold of it. Big play inside the defensive zone. Tries to feed it over to Champion. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Scores! And that's 30 on the season for the youngster. Uh, what an unbelievable year that he has had. Just showing his knack for the net and his unbelievable shot, James. He's been outstanding.
when we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. Anaheim's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. And he takes the feed. Spence is gaining momentum. Puck dumped in, and they'll complete a line change. Works it across to champion. Anaheim's got the puck against the boards. Oh, a clutch save! Feeds it on over to Fogel. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Los Angeles takes hold of the puck. Quick feed to Niskanen. He got all of that hit. And as we hit the final minute of this one, that has been a one-sided affair. is going to keep him out of the game, James. We've just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team. And, and somebody who's just so well liked too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. Utah's on the schedule next, and tickets still available for this one, so get them before they're gone. The Ducks have definitely used the shoot-first mentality, and look at the score here late. Slides the puck across. And he's getting the line and into the zone. Moves it quickly over to Champion. Anaheim's on the attack. LA's got the puck in their own end. Nice zone entry from the middle. And he loses control here. Quick pass to Michael. Anaheim's got it along the wall. A chance in front! There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. The Ducks have been a lot of fun to watch tonight. Lots of offensive scoring chances, and they have capitalized late here in this third. Ross has got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Oh, that's a good hit. Hammers a shot. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Rossi's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Darlene. The Kings have it from their own end. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Puck battle along the boards. It is all. Well, a complete team effort right from the goal all the way out to the front, and they continue to find ways to win. Listen, James, when you're winning games, it's easy to have buy-in, right? Everything's working for you, so you're trusting the process, and that's where you see the real good habits. Tonight was another product of that. Well, that puts a bow on the night here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Cebalski. See ya.